Hi, this is Mary Wisner from the Gallagher Law Library at UW Law. This tip is going to tell you one way to handle the problem when you have done a search and you have a zillion results. Now, many researchers jump into a project by looking for cases, uh, and that's very easy to do with the online systems. But the problem is it can be totally overwhelming. For example, let's say you want to learn about summary judgment. You don't know much, so you figure I'll type summary judgment into the search box. Well, in Lexis, we get over 10,000 cases. Nobody has time to read 10,000 cases. Nobody wants to have that kind of time. Nobody, even, even if you had the time, you wouldn't want to read all of those 10,000 cases. Now, if your jurisdiction is Washington, Back up. Don't look in cases. Go to the main Lexis search screen. Choose state. Choose Washington. Go down to the secondary materials and look. The top source that they highlight is Washington Pretrial Civil Procedure. And it has a chapter on summary judgment. And that chapter gives you an overview and it also cites the important cases or the cases that the author thinks are important, and the author, face it, knows more about it than you do at this point. In Westlaw, you could do a similar thing. Go to State Materials, choose Washington, look at all Washington secondary sources. Washington Practice has a volume on civil procedure. It has a chapter on summary judgment. And then when you read that chapter, it gives you an overview and it has footnotes that lead you to, ta-da, cases. So it's not that you're giving up on cases. You're just finding a more efficient, better organized way to get to the cases. So if your jurisdiction is federal, in Lexis, go to practice area or industry and you'll see that they have a practice area for civil procedure. Choose that. They list civil procedure treatises. They have Morris Federal Practice. And in, in the print world, I just want to show you that Morris Federal Practice is a huge set. Sometimes when you're looking at things online, you can't tell whether this is, you know, just a teeny overview or an exhaustive treatise. Let me tell you, Morris Federal Practice is an exhaustive treatise. In Westlaw, this is a little bit harder to do because the practice areas don't include civil procedure or practice and procedure or procedure. I happen to know that there is a big treatise called Federal Practice and Procedure by Wright and Miller. So I was able to find it. It has a chapter on summary judgment and away we go. It is also a huge set. So Lexis and Westlaw each have a huge set on civil procedure, and you can look at them online. Now, what about study aids? If you're really just getting started with what is summary judgment, how does it work? I recommend looking at a study aid, and we subscribe to West Academic Study Aids online. You can go into there, look at the study aids on civil procedure and find that there's a horn book, which is more scholarly, heavily footnoted. There's a Gilbert's. There are also about a dozen other works. I just took a screen snip with two. How would you find out about these things? In addition to browsing through the online systems, you could go to our library homepage and look at our research guides. We have a research guide for civil procedure. It lists study aids. It lists treatises, so you could find out that Moore's Federal Practice and Wright and Miller are the big ones. It has a link to Washington practice materials. So using that research guide could make you even more efficient as you look for secondary sources to make your research more efficient. This has been Mary Wisner of the Gallagher Law Library. Let me point out that our library website is lib.law.uw.edu. We hope to see you again soon.